The Grumman X-29 was an American experimental aircraft, used by NASA and the U.S. Air Force. It was used to test a forward-swept wing, canard control surfaces as well as other new technologies. The Grumman X-29 was chosen over another design, that involved a General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. The X-29 design used the forward fuselage and nose landing gear from the F-5A Freedom Fighter, while control surface actuators and main landing gear were from the F-16. The design also used carbon fiber composites. The wings were partially made of graphite epoxy, and were swept forward at more than 33 degrees. The X-29 was a three-surface aircraft, using canards, forward-swept wings and aft straight contour surfaces. This resulted in reduced trim and wave drag. This configuration, combined with a center of gravity well aft of the aerodynamic center, made the aircraft inherently unstable. Stability was achieved using a fly-by-wire system, making 40 corrections per second. The system used three redundant digital computers, backed up by three redundant analog computers. The X-29 was expected to be extremely maneuverable, however the test flights of the U.S. Air Force did not support this. The flight control system needed to keep the aircraft stable, resulted in the aircraft not meeting the expectations. It was concluded that the X-29 could have had increased agility, if it had faster control surface actuators and control surfaces. The first X-29 made its maiden flight on December 14, 1984. One year later, it made its first supersonic flight. NASA ran a test program with the X-29, proving it to be a reliable aircraft. Two X-29s were built, and they flew 242 times between 1984 and 1991.